science, technology and society, also referred to as science and technology studies, is a branch or offspring of science studies. It considers how social, political, and cultural values affect scientific research and technological innovation, and how these, in turn, affect society, politics, and culture. History STS is a new and expanding subject. Like most interdisciplinary programs, it emerged from the confluence of a variety of disciplines and disciplinary subfields all of which had developed an interest, typically, during the 1960s or 1970s, in viewing science and technology as socially embedded enterprises. The key disciplinary components of STS took shape independently, beginning in the 1960s, and developed in isolation from each other well into the 1980s. Although Ludwig Fleck's monograph Genesis and Development of a Scientific Fact anticipated many of STS's key themes, in the 1970s Elting E. Morrison founded the STS program at Massachusetts Institute of Technology, which served as a model. By 2011-111, STS programs were counted. Key Themes History of Technology, that examines technology in its social and historical context. Starting in the 1960s, some historians questioned technological determinism, a doctrine that can induce public passivity to technologic and scientific natural development. At the same time, some historians began to develop similarly contextual approaches to the history of medicine, history and philosophy of science. After the publication of Thomas Kuhn's well-known The Structure of Scientific Revolutions, which attributed changes in scientific theories to changes in underlying intellectual paradigms, programs were founded at the University of California, Berkeley and elsewhere that brought historians of science and philosophers together in unified programs, science, technology, and society in the mid to late 1960s, student and faculty social movements in the US, UK, and European universities helped to launch a range of new interdisciplinary fields that were seen to address relevant topics that the traditional curriculum ignored. One such development was the rise of science, technology, and society programs, which are also, confusingly, known by the STS acronym, drawn from a variety of disciplines, including anthropology, history, political science, and sociology. Scholars in these programs created undergraduate curricula devoted to exploring the issues raised by science and technology. Unlike scholars in science studies, history of technology, or the history and philosophy of science, they were and are more likely to see themselves as activists working for change rather than dispassionate, ivory tower, researchers. As an example of the activist impulse, feminist scholars in this and other emerging STS areas address themselves to the exclusion of women from science and engineering. Science, engineering, and public policy studies emerged in the 1970s from the same concerns that motivated the founders of the science, technology, and society movement. A sense that science and technology were developing in ways that were increasingly at odds with the public's best interests. The science, technology, and society movement tried to humanize those who would make tomorrow's science and technology. But this discipline took a different approach. It would train students with the professional skills needed to become players in science and technology policy. Some programs came to emphasize quantitative methodologies, and most of these were eventually absorbed into systems engineering. Others emphasized sociological and qualitative approaches, and found that their closest kin could be found among scholars in science, technology and society departments. During the 1970s and 1980s, leading universities in the US, UK, and Europe began drawing these various components together in new, interdisciplinary programs. For example, in the 1970s, Cornell University developed a new program that united science studies and policy-oriented scholars with historians and philosophers of science and technology. 
Each of these programs developed unique identities due to variation in the components that were drawn together, as well as their location within the various universities. For example, the University of Virginia's STS program united scholars drawn from a variety of fields. However, the program's teaching responsibilities, it is located within an engineering school and teaches ethics to undergraduate engineering students, means that all of its faculty share a strong interest in engineering ethics. The turn to technology, a decisive moment in the development of STS was the mid-1980s addition of technology studies to the range of interests reflected in science. During that decade, two works appeared in Syria time that signaled what Steve Woolger was to call the turn to technology, social shaping of technology and the social construction of technological systems. Mackenzie and Whiteman primed the pump by publishing a collection of articles attesting to the influence of society on technological design. In a seminal article, Trevor Pinch and Weber Biker attached all the legitimacy of the sociology of scientific knowledge to this development by showing how the sociology if technology could proceed along precisely the theoretical and methodological lines established by the sociology of scientific knowledge. This was the intellectual foundation of the field they called the social construction of technology. The turn to technology helped to cement an already growing awareness of underlying unity among the various emerging STS programs. More recently, there has been an associated turn to ecology, nature, and materiality in general, whereby the socio-technical and natural material co-produce each other. This is especially evident in work in STS analyses of biomedicine and ecological interventions professional associations. The subject has several professional associations. Founded in 1975, the Society for Social Studies of Science initially provided scholarly communication facilities, including a journal and annual meetings that were mainly attended by science studies scholars. The Society has since grown into the most important professional association of science and technology studies scholars worldwide. The Society for Social Studies of Science members also include government and industry officials concerned with research and development as well as science and technology policy, scientists and engineers who wish to better understand the social embeddedness of their professional practice, and citizens concerned about the impact of science and technology in their lives. Proposals have been made to add the word technology to the association's name thereby reflecting its stature as the leading STS professional society. But there seems to be widespread sentiment that the name is long enough as it is. In Europe, the European Association for the Study of Science and Technology was founded in 1981 to stimulate communication, exchange and collaboration in the field of studies of science and technology. Similarly, the European Inter-University Association on Society, Science and Technology Researchers and Studies Science and Technology in Society, in both historical and contemporary perspectives. In Asia several STS associations exist. In Japan, the Japanese Society for Science and Technology Studies was founded in 2001. The Asia-Pacific Science Technology and Society Network primarily has members from Australasia, Southeast and East Asia and Oceania, founded in 1958. The Society for the History of Technology initially attracted members from the history profession who had interests in the contextual history of technology. After the turn to technology in the mid-1980s, the Society's well-regarded journal and its annual meetings began to attract considerable interest from non-historians with technology studies. Interests, less identified with STS, but also of importance to many STS scholars in the U.S., are the History of Science Society, the Philosophy of Science Association, and the American Association for the History of Medicine. In addition, there are significant STS or oriented special interest groups within major disciplinary associations.
including the American Anthropological Association, the American Political Science Association, and the American Sociological Association. Journals Notable peer-reviewed journals in STS include Social Studies of Science, Science, Technology and Human Values, Science and Technology Studies, Technology and Society, Research Policy, Minerva, A Journal of Science, Learning and Policy, Science, Technology and Society, Science as Culture, Technology and Culture, and Science and Public Policy. Student journals in STS include Intersect, the Stanford Journal of Science, Technology, and Society at Stanford, DEMESCI, International Journal of Deliberative Mechanisms in Science and Synthesis, an undergraduate journal of the history of science at Harvard.